One time I tell him I'm California dreaming. Dream, dream. One time I tell him I'm California dreaming. Left you guys Vegas a few days ago. We are now in LA. We were originally there for one day just as a stop on our way to LA. Uh, but we decided to stay for one extra day because we had so much fun. So that was what we did. Uh, now we're in LA and things are going a bit downhill from here, uh, literally, because I just snapped my lower back walking up here to get an amazing view of LA. And I already had lower back issues for some of you guys that definitely know I've talked about it for a while now. I've actually been dealing with it for months and it's been getting better. Uh, but then we also had a pretty shitty night of sleep and my lower back already kind of was hurting this morning and then i tried to walk up there steep hill and i made a misstep and my lower back is completely snapped right now doesn't feel good at all so we're gonna make our way back down have some rest and hope that it's gonna get better our apartment we're staying at is nice we finally have a kitchen again so we can cook our own meals which is great Majority of today is going to consist out of editing, answering emails, and that is the true life of a YouTuber. You see us doing a lot of awesome shit, but half of the time we're actually inside working. But we don't show you that boring stuff. I still edit most videos myself, and it takes more time than you might think. It actually takes me hours, but I really enjoy it, and I also try to get better at it and learn certain things. So it is really a process that actually takes a lot of my hours, uh, but I do love it, and I've always loved it since the start. One time I tell them I'm California dreaming. Bodybuilders, man. I don't know if I consider myself a bodybuilder, but hey. So I'm here with Zach. Now we were supposed to go to the gym today because he lives here in LA, but um, my lower back could not handle it. I decided not to go. I tried to schedule with some physical therapists here. Like I don't have an insurance here or anything that covers it. But next to that, there was no one available today because I was actually about to pay the money. But, uh, you gotta take your injuries seriously. I mean, yeah, it's important to check over your therapist before just hop into the gym. Like exactly. You're gonna, that, you're gonna so that's what I'm gonna do. If I don't find a physical therapist here and I don't do it, then the last day I will head up Gold's Gym because I have to go there, right. even for just the feels. You know, yeah. it's like the best gym ever. If you just go to Gold's makes Gym, makes you motivated. Usually, usually gains gain a good 10 pounds of muscle just walking. <laughs> that firehouse restaurant bar. This is uh, where Jay Cutler comes and Arnold used to come. I'm carving up, man. I haven't eaten anything all day. I usually follow like a carb cycling diet, so this is the high carb day. It's good, bro. I'm actually going very lean here. This is the Gold's Gym Bowl. We got rice, we got veggies, we got chicken. Reason I'm keeping it lean, I'm also drinking a lot of water today is because tomorrow we have a photo shoot for Crystal. Gotta get that face lean for tomorrow, you know? It's true, I do the it same thing. It does make thing. a difference, the day before the photo shoot. Then do you want to switch back now? <laughs> I also think I finally found a guy who actually has calves. Teach me the ways, bro. These are some God-given dad wait, genetics wait, right here. God-given dad genetics. That is it, man. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> it's two days later now, here chilling at Venice Beach, and I actually caught myself on something because I haven't felt like this in a long, long time uh, because my lower back is still hurting, and in some way, like, it makes me completely unhappy with everything. Like, I'm just constantly thinking about, you know, how bad is it, like, what is gonna happen? Am I gonna lose my gains? Am I not gonna be able to go to the gym? And it, these are like really negative thoughts. And since I'm always like a positive guy and out, positive outlook, I really caught myself on thinking like this. And I guess you guys that have had an injury can understand, but it's something you don't think about until it actually happens to you, right? And that is often with, you know, things in life that you don't realize how grateful you are or how appreciative you should be of something you have until you don't have it anymore. And I have the same with lifting right now. Like I wanna go to the gym so freaking badly. This is actually our last day in LA and we're not even gonna hit the Gold's Gym, which is the mecca of bodybuilding, the gym I always wanna go to while I'm here. That gives me so much motivation, you know, for killing it in the gym. Uh, but I know that when I walk in there now with my injury and I'm not gonna be able to train, I just know I'm gonna get depressed by even like walking in there. Basically just a lot of negative thoughts, you know, it's a big setback, well, depending on how bad it actually is. But you know these thoughts that just like, go into your head I thought I would share that with you guys because that same shit happens to me man it, it can happen to anyone uh, with anything in life in this case some of you might think I'm over exaggerating but the gym is obviously a big part of my life next to that I make money off of my physique in a certain way like I don't necessarily do because I also have other businesses and 
people actually seem to like my personality in some weird way. So it's not just about how I look, but obviously that is a big part of it and a big part of this YouTube channel too. Uh, so I definitely like always want to improve my physique and it's just something that I truly love. I realized that the thing is that I actually cannot change anything about the situation, you know, like it is what it is. It happened and you know, you can always like feel bad for yourself or like, you know, talk negatively about it or think about it constantly or complain. But that's not gonna do you any good, man. You just gotta like accept it. We gotta make the best out of every situation. And in this case, I'm out here in the US in LA, place that I love, California, and I should just enjoy my time being here even though I cannot go to the gym. There is a lot of other things I can do. Don't let one thing that's not going so well drag you down because there's a lot of other good things that you can focus on and one thing is not gonna change it. So for some of you guys that might have the same issues of like mental struggle and like going a little insane about things, it'll all be good, keep that in mind. Worrying is not gonna help you at all. No training, but we keep the diet going, okay? So we got massive plate of pasta here, double chicken as well, no cheese, saving the fats for later today, because I heard we were gonna do some snacking. Yes, I've wanted like an epic donut since we got here three weeks ago, we didn't have it yet, so we're gonna have it. Yeah. On a positive note, we have something really cool going down. Some of you might remember when I was in Texas, you saw some guy popping up on the screen talking about some art. We got my boy here, What's coming to Amsterdam as well. We're gonna do some dope shit. We're not gonna tell you what, but it's gonna be fucking art. Well, his name is Andrew, and he's an artist. He makes epic things, and he also designs jackets that are absolutely insane. There he is, man. There he is. A special 101 custom made by me, Andrew Lyko, of course. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope he loves it. So yeah, we're gonna see I right saw now. some of his work he did, and it was unreal, <laughs> man. I never see on you like it. All right, so here we go. Let's you open it. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, wow. shoot. Oh, look at oh, we got the crystal on there. Yep, we got the crystal on oh, there, yes. of course. Oh, fucking hell. I actually put a house here, like, I don't know. That's the future like, house. Yeah, there you go. Future house right there. Future the house here in California, man. And then I had to put the V down here, too. Uh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. It's also cool how it's Marine and student aesthetics for the OGs as well, yeah. you know? Epic. Yeah, it's sick how I'm going to be the only one with this particular oh, jacket, right? Yeah. That's fucking dope. <laughs> wow. Do you love it? Or yeah. do you love it? I love it. I love, love it. <laughs> Yeah. So sick! I didn't realize it was gonna be this sick to be honest. That's yeah, they had no idea what to expect. Um, I had them tell me a couple things that they liked and like represented them. Look at that. I'm gonna steal the show, man. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. appreciate it, bro. Well, on, bro. So guys, Thank make you. sure to give Andrew a follow on Instagram. Link will be down below. Thank you, guys. Hey, what's happening, guys? <laughs> it feels great to finally meet the man, Marion Student Aesthetics, dude. What an inspiration. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. He was walking, I, I, he was like, are you Marion? I'm like, you don't need my advice. <laughs> what are you talking about, this, dude? Look at these guys. Nah, I listen to your advice, bro. Look, dude, it works. Listen Appreciate to this guy. It, he knows what he's talking about, okay? Appreciate it, bro. All right, guys. It is a few days later now. I am back home, and I wanted to address one more thing in this video. And that is the question that I've been getting a lot, because I used to talk about this all the time in the early days of my channel. And, you know, a couple years ago, and that is if I'm moving to the United States. Because that was always a dream of mine. That was always kind of one goal that I had and one goal that I was pursuing and that I really realistically uh, thought about and definitely wanted to do with my life. And some things in the last few years have kind of changed that idea for me. Um, it hasn't given up that idea, but it has kind of like altered the idea, right? So back in the day, I always thought the US was amazing. I went to study there when I was 17. I fell in love with the place, you know, I got back multiple times, also did family trips there and it always seemed so amazing and I always like, Ever since I was young, kind of like had this American dream thing, kind of like printed in my mind. I don't know why, because I, like for everyone that that saying is a different meaning. I don't even know who came up with that saying. Uh, but just in my mind, that was always kind of like something that I was, I thought about like, you know, America just has a lot of opportunities. If I go there, I'll make it, you know, and then like, there's just a lot more out there for me to go after, right? And um, that has kind of like changed for me as well, because, you know, I decided to chase that dream but i did it here because these days you don't need to be anywhere to do your stuff you can do everything online worldwide it doesn't matter where you live anymore so place doesn't really matter anymore right now that doesn't mean i don't like the us anymore i definitely love being there i always do and i think that is the reason why exactly i should not live there forever and be settled in the us because i simply love it so much when i go there and i see it as something so special and 
the last few years, me accomplishing a lot of things, me doing a lot of stuff, it made me realize that everything that you do, it doesn't matter what it is, you get used to after you do it for a while or after you are somewhere. Me compared to where I was a few years ago to now, um, you know, I would think that I would never get used to that and every day would be, you know, insane. But you get used to a certain lifestyle, you get used to a certain life and it doesn't matter what you accomplish or what you do. That's why I always say like, you know, the journey never stops. There is a mountain to climb, but the mountain will that you will never be at the top because there will be no fun. And I think maybe it is weird to compare it to all those things, but I think that the same thing will happen when I move to California and when I live there and I'm there for a whole year, every single day and like now when I'm there and I wake up and I, I like I walk around and it's beautiful weather and, and the weather is not always that great over here and I walk and I wake up and I see the palm trees and it's 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 all beautiful to me right because it's something special guys it's something like something that I don't always have and once you have something you get used to it the grass is always green on the other side and I know by the life that I've been living the last few years that, that is very true so I know that it's not the right decision to move there permanently because that feeling the feeling will be gone right and um, the feels at the end of the day are all that matters right so my current goal is I'm currently renting here I'm still in my hometown here where I grew up in Nijmegen uh, it's obviously a lot of money that you actually throw away because you never get something back for it you don't put it into something so it's a way better investment to actually buy something since I currently have the money to do so so that will be a logic investment for me right now um, and I'm thinking about buying something in Harlem so that means me and Veronica will move to Harlem or somewhere close to Amsterdam because I want to be around Amsterdam but I don't want to be in the city center of Amsterdam um, um, and Harlem seems like a really nice place, been there a lot. And it's both the close Amsterdam and the airport. So that would be the first move. Now Veronica already has a place, right? She bought a place many years ago, a house in Gothenburg in Sweden. And that was an amazing investment. So she told me about that. And that made me realize that that, that would be like a smart move, right? Because it's that house is a lot more worth right now. So she could sell it or like she's renting it out right now. And like it's a way to kind of like make money. Uh, so that would be something that I would be interested in is actually buying multiple places and then just renting it out right like airbnbs and shit so that would be the thing that would be the next move is like the first move is buying a place here in the netherlands because the netherlands is also business wise at the moment just a very good place for me to be so that is why also kind of like changed my dream of moving to the u.s because in the u.s there's a lot of competition here i'm making a big name for myself right and i'm growing pretty fast and the country is just kind of like small so i can really be on top of the game one of the biggest players and in the us that is really not realistic and the competition is just immense right so compared to here business wise just a very smart move for me to be here right now so the goal right now is first step buy a place here in the netherlands second step buy a place in freaking california so i can still live up my dream but at the same time i can always be settled here in the netherlands and i can just go there a few times a year and be excited every single time that i go there and i think that is this is the absolute solution to a happy life and to you know chasing that dream that i once had because i know that dreams and things you want to do you get freaking used to it and it's just not as fun anymore and i want to keep shit fun that's the way of life that I want to live and I think this is the perfect solution business wise too thinking about that though I might be wrong because we pay a lot of freaking tax here in the Netherlands 50% my freaking ass but I never complain about that because everyone here in the Netherlands has a well there's like no homeless people uh, it's actually amazing so I'm willing to pay that money to give everybody the opportunity of a good life right so that's the update and those are the thoughts that are running into my head. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, man. But this is what I've been thinking lately uh, for the last few months, actually. So now I'm seriously considering it. I, I think it's actually a great plan. I think it's the solution to everything. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. I'm really, really interested. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I appreciate you. If you're still around, please give this video a thumbs up. If you are, I truly do appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. One time I tell them I'm California dreaming.